Greetings and salutations, my name is Wait, and today I am playing Star Maid, and I think I'd like to build a factory. But before we do that, let's talk about the basics of factory. So I have a little station I'd set up, this is temporary, as a build block for me to build in, and I have a cargo container, cargo, container, cargo storage block, cargo spaces attached to it. In here I have a bunch of materials, some scrap, some shards, and fertikine. So we just went mining. We picked up some ore and shards, and we even hit a, a decayed station or abandoned station and picked up some scrap. Quite a bit of it. Almost 10 million. Anywho. Now, what do I do with all this stuff? Okay. First of all, let's grab a pipe because I like pipes. And I did mention I do have power. Mention that. Anyway, I have power as well. Don't need this pipe. I'm just putting it down to. Uh, uh, yes. Showcase. Don't want to be on the floor. Anyway, this is the capsule refinery. Capsule refinery's job is to refine raw material capsule. We also have micro assemblers, standard factory. Basic factory. Think of all these as fancy storage chest. Basically, the exact same as this. Notice it has a capacity that, except instead of pulling, it's producing. So, uh, yeah, think of it as storage block. It changes one thing to another, or multiple things into another thing. For example, uh, the capsule refinery. Not an awful lot to do with production, but production recipe. And you'll take one text and turn it into a tech, 30 text capsules. Take one fruitkeen, raw ore, change it to five fruitkeen capsules and alloyed metal mesh. Take Mati, one, and five capsules, pause it. But it's not doing anything, I hear. Try. Right. Not. Oh, also for factories. Like I said, they are basically storage blocks that change one thing into another. That means they need cargo space. So they don't have to have it, but well, they do. Because if you're trying to pull more things in here than they fit, then you're going to have problems. So I like to give them a good chunk of cargo. Not too much, because things... You'll notice nothing's moving. Not doing anything. I guess I could do this by hand. Capsules. Drop some little shards. Oh, I can't because the capacity. Right, so now you could do that. You can heat it by hand and pull out the materials by hand as well. But there's a better way to do that. Press C on the refinery. Uh, or the refinery. Box it's Doing that real. Press C on this and press V on your cargo storage. Now we'll start pulling whatever it needs to make uh, its job. So now it's pulling shards and these ores. It's converting them. Every tick you're getting going up by five. See? And well, the mesh and crystal composite are going up by ten. So you're finding the disper ore into just Capsules being a side effect of of uh, alloy metal mesh, and as ores make metal mesh as a byproduct, capsules make crystal composite or crystals shards make crystal composite by as a byproduct. That's how the uh, capsule refinery works. Except it's not; it's going to take it hundred years to through the Got almost done. Fourteen. Yeah, we got now. There we go. We got fifteen done, and all this time we've been talking. That's for factory enhancers. Now you have to press C on the uh, factory where you want to use. Just place it. Doesn't have to be touching. It just has to be on the same structure. And you cannot build these on ships. These are stations and planets. Only. Now what does that do? Notice we were doing five at first. Now we're going up by 10. It ups the production value by 1. And because for one of these, uh, 
One verticine produces five verticine capsules. Now it's processing two verticine. So you're getting 10 capsules, 20 alloy metal mesh per production tick. That's the good thing about uh, factory enhancers. So takes anything on the left at two. This is the appropriate number there. So if I had 98. Why 98? Because I'd make it even hundreds. Because there would be 99 um, answers and one capsule thing. So now I'm processing 100 raw material at a time. You watch it tick down. It's going to tick 1, tick 0. Go see. Now we have a problem. Because this isn't going anywhere. There are, all these materials are stored in this block. Now it has 10,000 volume units. I'm only 100. There now I've only used 100. But I want these to go somewhere I can use them somewhere useful. What we do, go to our storage block, our main storage. We want to change items to auto pull. I want to add all. I'm going to say one. Thousand. Then OK. Then I want to C on the storage block and V on the capsule. Now watch this. So often, I'm gonna drop. Well, actually, it's fast. Every pull tick, it's gonna pull a thousand to material out of the, this one. Now, if I wanted to do more than that, clear all pulls. At all, ten thousand. Now every pull tick is going to pull ten thousand of everything it's attached to back into itself. See, now that was ten thousand there. That way, the capsule uh, refinery doesn't fill up because this doesn't. This only has ten thousand volume, and if you're producing everything, all. All these, all these ores plus several of these um, uh, material materials, uh, greens like uh, Laramar. I'm gonna throw some Laramar in there. Notice, creating Laramar capsules at a much higher rate because Laramar produces 30 Laramar capsules, one Laramar block, so you get a higher exchange rate. And, uh, and these will fill up your inventory very quickly, having so many Lermar capsules. See, the volume is six. Ah, they're about the same, but it'll still fill it up faster. So, uh, I recommend having a main storage on the factory that's pulling from the capsule refinery, and the capsule refinery is pulling from it. This main storage, once we get the building factory, they will be pulling from this main storage and back to the, the, um, or they'll be pulling from the factories and the factories will be pulling from there. So this is going to be the general stockpile. Right, oh, we have a little time, so let's talk about something more complicated. Let's make microassembler. Microassemblers production. They take scrap alloy and make metal mesh, hot scrap composite and make crystal composite. Then they take capsules and break them down to their to their uh, crystal composite or metal mesh, depending on what they are. So let's pop out a create. Not hold blob in our. Oh, let's snag 50 verticine. That was not 50. Go. Now we have 51 verticine. With every tick, it's going to break this verticine down in the base metal mesh. Normally, you don't want to do this because verticine is precious in the universe. Use it to make armor. So, I don't want to have this pulling from here because now that I have this pulling from here, it's taking all my capsules. 
breaking them down in uh, standard material. I don't want that. Usually, for the uh, microassembler, if I even have one on my station, it is only for scrap. Scrap composite. So, this will pull whatever it is. Let me attach the cargo to this, so now it'll pull with um, materials out. Now, what the trick I do for microassemblers is I set up a buffer. Let's set the buffer here. The little cargo there. And this one, a microassembler is going to pull from the buffer block. The buffer block is going to pull from main storage, and main storage is going to pull from the microassembler. Now the buffer block. I want to change items, auto pull. I want to add a single. I type in scrap, I want scrap alloy at 1000. Okay, add single. I want scrap, scrap composite at 1000 or whatever you. Now, okay, what this is going to do, it's going to start pulling the scrap. Then this. The micro assembler is going to pull the scrap out of the buffer, so it doesn't have the opportunity to grab my precious vertikey. So that's a way to use the micro assembler, and you get scrap from um, uh, mining, salvaging uh, stations that you don't that don't belong to you. Like if you conquer a pirate station, shoot a faction block out, then eat it with a uh, mining device or a mining ship, mining device. It'll give you scrap. If you scrap alloy and scrap composite, depending on what block you pick up, and it's scraps totally useless except to be run through a microassembler to uh, make uh, metal mesh and crystal composite. Now you can buy the station after you conquered it, but sometimes you're just looking for mesh. And microassemblers, microassemblers will also take factory enhancers. Doing one, now I'm doing production. Yeah, it takes five scrap to make one metal mesh. Five scrap to make one crystal composite. Now we're doing five because I have four factory enhancers and the crystal composite. Composite micro assembler. There we go. Learn your words, especially if you're trying to make a tutorial. Well, that's the basics of the. Uh, the composite, or the composite, the capsule refinery, and the microassembler. Capsule refinery, base of the factory, because it takes the raw material, turns it into something useful. Um, microassemblers are a little less useful, but but you, I, I recommend having one, or at least knowing how they work, because you're going to pick up scrap eventually. Or you're going to run around your factory and say, oh no. I have totally run out of um, totally run out of crystal composite. What do I do? Well, you open up the new production recipe and find out that well, if I throw Hattel in here, I can get two crystal composite. And uh, my base is being besieged by pirates, and I need the crystal composite. I am going to sacrifice the Hattel crystals to get it, so I can build something to build it, defend myself or whatever. I don't actually see that scenario playing out, but it is an option. I, and if you choose to set up a microassembler in your factory, always have a buffer so it doesn't just chew through your good material. And if you wanted to, good. Say, oh, I really need whatever. So I'm going to just throw these. Uh, this just for into the into the buffer. And it will be by the microassembler to create more just for the B metal mesh. Anywho, that is the microassembler and capsule refinery. And I have been JW608. This has been Starman. I'll take you cats later. We'll actually talk about factories.